Hey love box, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning self, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Thank you for allowing me just to, you know, you're helping me heal as I help you heal. We're all learning together about different things and it's like we're all channeling each other and connecting in such a beautiful spiritual way. And with that being said, much love to to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two even if it's the about you getting to know me as much as I'm getting to know you, or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video, or you're just opening up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how has it impacted your life and sending you towards positive direction. And if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes or just gave you true understanding, you feel like you want to, you know, pass it on to someone else, please go ahead and do so. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today, and I hope you're able to resonate, and thank you for the support, and I hope you're able to resonate, <laughs> put it that way. But anyways, the video, um, meditation video I'm listening to today is called Powerful, Attract Your Dreams in Life, Change, Change Your Circumstances with the Secret Law of Attraction. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today, let me see what video I'm doing now. Oh, okay. Um, Y'all, I miss y'all. I miss y'all so much. You know, even though it was 24, well, actually, yeah, 24 to 48 hours that, you know, I haven't did any videos, and I felt so strange, because, you know, usually I'll tell y'all I'm going to take a day off, and then say two days, and I only take one day, but today, you know, I've, I ended up taking two days, but I'm glad, you know, y'all still stuck with me, and y'all been patient, but, um, you know, it was a blessing, because, I mean, it's, it's just, when you when you are recharging you really need to recharge and I needed those two full days but um today anyways my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas let your haters be your motivators let your haters be your motivators it's like when we're on you know we're on our grind and we're just hustling just doing what we need to do just to better ourselves you have people that you know want to poke fun at the things that you're doing and probably try to downplay it like oh you're not gonna get nothing out of this or you know this and this and that or you know why are you working so hard on this you just keep allowing yourself to do what you need to do to better yourself if it's putting yourself putting you in your life and you and your family in a positive direction keep doing what you do because it is like you might have a passion about something that other people can't understand like you know like why are they doing this why are they doing that it does not make any sense you know are you gonna be able to do something with this or you never know what god has in store for you you never know what the universe has in store for you because it's like when you're on a direction you're you're you know you're heading towards your dreams and you see things like in visions and you see things that you want to attract in your life and it's, it's just a crazy way of how the universe works out for us and it's like you know when we have people like that in our lives that you know want to keep you know keep poking at you and keep poking at you like today I you know I got a friend request from my adopted father I look like oh hell no <laughs> some friend I put a post on there anybody who's friends with me on Facebook will know I put crazy posts on my stuff either they're positive or something that's keeping it real that I'm related to and it's just like when you get some people they friend request you not just for friend requests just to get in contact with you but just to basically be a surveillance camera because there's some people that'll you know just get in touch with you on social media and I even got some probably deal with me here just to see what I'm up to to see if I'm gonna tell something I learned my lesson on the things that I need to put out there and the things that I don't need to put out there because people will prey on your downfall so quick sometimes you got to not tell people but you know what you got going on with your life because they can't stop what they don't see coming you know I say that a lot you can't let the left hand know what the right hands doing because I had learned in so many hard ways you know it, it should be exciting when you know you're an adopted person you finally find out who your family is and it's more exciting when you find out the depth of you know your family and stuff like that but a lot of people don't see that happiness for me they don't want to see me have that happiness but it's just like I can't sit here 
and worry about what people don't want from me because regardless on what people want from me, I know what I want from me. You know, and I know it's bringing me into so many positive aspects and so many, you know, positive directions that, you know, I don't know what, you know, the universe has in store for me. That's why I try to attract all the things that I want to attract, you know, and the devil stays busy with you, especially when you've got some blessings heading your way. They will keep them negative thoughts in your head and keep having you pray on the things, you know, or concentrate on the things that, you know, are not serving you any positive purpose in your life. And it's just like... Because they, you know, the devil does not want to see us happy. The devil wants us to do what he wants us to do so he can be able to snatch that away anytime he wants to. I don't have time for all that. <laughs> I don't have time for all that. That's why it's just like I have to constantly divert myself on saying, you know what, put your thoughts towards something that is serving a positive purpose in your life. I said, there's things that's going on in your life and it's still going on that you cannot change. Even though that upsets me at times when I go through the things that I go through, I can't concentrate on that. I need that to be my motivation to push me forward so I don't have to be stuck in that predicament anymore, or stuck around that pe the people anymore. But it's just this blessing that when I knock those people out of my life, they're not supposed to be there. You know, it brings me so many positive, like-minded people that I need to be around. The people that, you know, I can learn off of and they can learn off of me. You know, we're all trying to move up together as nobody knocking nobody down, you know, or just sending any negative vibes your way because, you know, when we get when we start going through blessings, you know, and it might be bothersome when you see other people getting blessings around you and stuff like that, but that lets you know that the things that you're hoping for, that, that you want to, you know, blossom into your life, you'll start seeing things that connect on things that you might want. You know, you could be a mother, I mean, a person that desperately wants to be a mother. You constantly seeing people that are pregnant. You might see, you know, commercials with women delivering babies or, you know, or you start seeing magazines with somebody carrying babies and stuff like that. You know, I've seen things like this happen when people desperately want things like that. And sometimes it's a blessing that they're able to, you know, give birth or they're able to have that blessing to adopt a child that desperately needs things like that. So when you're having your, your you know, you have your doubts and you have your downfall, we have those things that happens to us. We have those fears of not thinking, you know, we're able to get things done the way we need to get done or we have that fear that we might not be good enough for that thing that we're heading towards but yes you are when you have that when you try to train yourself even though it might be things that yeah I want to do this but it seems like a challenge for me you should allow yourself to be challenged you should never want to take the easy road out because then you will never learn anything it's just like when I hear a song um I forgot it was one of the ones by Jeannie Iago when she says everything is dipped in gold, you'll never grow. And it's true. If you never had hard times, you would never be able to appreciate the good times that comes in your life. When you had true heartache in your life, when finally when that true love comes around, you'll be able to appreciate that, especially when you went through so much hell in a relationship. So allow yourself to take those negative comments or the negative things that people say towards you and allow that to be that milestone, that stepping stone that makes you want to prove them wrong. Even though you don't have to be proving you wrong, you shouldn't, you know, worry about what people think. But it's a good feeling when people had that doubt in your head that, oh, you're never going to become anything. I've heard that my whole life telling me I would never be able to come become anything or you won't matter too much because of how you lived your life. But then I see I wasn't allowing those things to, you know, okay, you say this about me, I'm going to prove you wrong because I, I'm going to keep doing what I need to do. I'm going to keep grinding. You don't have to get revenge on people, but just the fact is you getting up the next day and grinding as hard as you did yesterday, but probably 10 times harder is the, is the best revenge you can ever give anybody. So I hope you were able to get something out of this message. I missed y'all so much, even though it was a, you know, a good two days, but not, it felt like no, a good two days or whatever, but I really missed y'all. You know, I got recharged. I feel a lot better, you know, and seeing things a lot clearer. I just needed that time to come off because it's just like when too many things is going on at one time, it was just a whole lot, a whole lot. Of <laughs> so I hope y'all are having a blessed, safe weekend. You know, you're sending love and light to people, you know, love and light and prosperity to other people and, you know, positivity as much as you can. You know, um, just, you know, just send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And 
like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line give me a thumbs up share on your social media favorites know that you are blessed and highly loved and truly truly favored and I know I messed that up, but I meant to say it like that. You are highly blessed and truly loved. You are. And you know that there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm sending out love and light and positivity as I possibly can. And have a safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Get turned up, relax, and enjoy. And it's always a blessing to see you the next day. Now I will talk to you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.